This is not necessary. Yeah, it's uh, totally necessary. <sighs> Damn it. John's car is in the way and we want to do something dumb. I was going to try to move it, but apparently this thing actually has an ignition key. So I'm going to go grab him, tell him to move this thing, and then maybe we'll do a quick build breakdown on that car because it's pretty interesting. And that was actually John's daily driver for like two years from like Norco to Long Beach. Hey, John. Oh. What are you, uh, there's so many weird things going on back here. What are you doing? Uh, I'm working on Kakao's 2.0 helmet. What? Yeah, because remember, Kakawa had a chrome helmet. Oh, it's right there. Whew. This thing is not Man. comfortable. This is the best day ever. I'm seriously wearing this helmet. And then that wasn't, because Kakawa's fancy, you can't let me have a stock whatever helmet. So, went ahead, took the red scotch bright, knocked down all the shiny out of it, sprayed it in black, and then sprayed some green sparkle over it because Kakawa's fancy like that. And Kakawa is also... His motto is this. Why is it green and gold? Why will this all be green and gold? You know why? No. Cacao Green for the money, gold for the honeys. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So, but Cacao was like, you were talking about Cacao yesterday, he wanted, or the other day, you, he wanted a MR2. That's not actually true. That's what Well, I know, that's his secondary want. Yeah, because his wife could probably think that's almost okay to have. No, he thinks he could get it without his wife knowing. Exactly. He really wants a Smokey and the Bandit second gen Trans Am. So that's why I went ahead and drew up the Screaming Chicken, applied it to the top of his helmet, gonna do it in gold. Put an Isle of Hurt on the side in red and white. Maybe do some other fancy stuff on it. And we'll probably just keep adding to it as Kakawa continues to give you Kakawa. Can, can you give me a box breakdown? Because this thing's cool. Uh, yeah, this is. I found this in in the circle in orange. At a, like a van, is that shop. sticker off my truck or did you have that? No, I have one. Joey, Remember my truck came with that sticker yeah, on the back? Joey Redmond from Rect gave me that years ago. So I got this box in the circle in, in uh, Orange County. It was basically people used it for RC or RC slot cars. Oh in, man, I loved slot cars, slot man. Slot cars, or they use it for tackle box, maybe. So right now it's just like. So it's just box. your your art box to go. Yeah, kind of. It got nice. some random stuff in it, but yeah. Cool. Well, one thing I'm kind of bummed about huh. is this. We have all these like real helmets here for car racing, but you're you're using all your art to paint Kakawa's stupid helmet. Kakao's helmet's not, you, he won't do anything without a helmet. Can I get a painted helmet? Yes! Can I'll we paint, paint my helmet? helmet? I'll paint your helmet. All right. I'm gonna paint everyone's helmet, as long as you have a theme, but Kakao needs his, because he won't do anything in any of the cars without a helmet. You know that, everyone knows that. Everyone knows that. So, make so you heard better. him say it, we're gonna hold him to this. We all want custom helmets for race no, days. No, 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 us in the building, not random. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Me, Hurt, Brian, John, Kato, we all want custom race helmets. Yeah. If Kakao is gonna get one, I'm gonna get one. Yeah, this will look sick when it's done, and in the sun, it's gonna be bananas. And we have like all these Oreka helmets in there that are sick, and they're all blank white, so I feel like they're perfect canvases for John to throw some art down on it. So, stay tuned. Yeah, we'll do it. So yeah, so that's the box. This is Kakawa's whole deal. Um, yeah, and hopefully we'll get him his smoke. Well, this looks sick, I like this. That's yeah. all freehand drawn? Yeah. I mean, That's I sick. I could have done vinyl, but it'll be cool when it's. So did, did you do this like tattoo style, like stencil and then lay it on there? Or you just literally hand drew this. Well, originally I did a I did a drawing of it and I transferred it with a pounce wheel. Which is what? And use one of these. Actually, not this one. I usually the small one, and it punches little holes in the paper. Uh huh. And then I used a chalk bag on it. The transfer. The problem is the paper was a little too thick, and it's really kind of small the details and the curves, so it didn't work out real well. So I went ahead and used the drawing again, put sand, I think it's called sand roll. It's just like a paper you put over it and it just transfers the red to it, so. That's sick. We're actually gonna cover that whole process whenever we make John paint our actual helmets because I had no idea that's how he was doing it and it sounds yeah. really rad, so yeah. But for Kakawa, okay. Yeah, that would be cool though. Hell yeah, no, dude, this thing looks sick. I'm stoked, I can't wait to have a custom painted helmet. You want to come outside because your car is blocking us and we want to try to do some stupid stuff outside? Sure. But I figured, you know, since the Tri-5 is currently being built and the 67 is currently in paint with Max at South County. Yes. Uh, you could give us a quick build breakdown of the old trusty daily driver. Oh, okay, yeah, let's do that. That's a good one. 
So when I first met John, he uh, that was his daily driver. The and guy. what's your commute? Uh, 105 miles a day. 105 miles a day, Southern California, traffic both ways. And now John drives a smart car, and we give him the pass because he's like, he's a badass daddy. <laughs> so like, we're, he's, he's allowed to do it, we don't give him shit for it. But before he had the smart car and daily that, John daily this 1964? 64. 64 Nova long roof wagon. Chevy 2. Yeah, we'll get into that a little bit. So this is like the full-on family hauler daily driver. Yep. It is that. Oh, and like everything you have, I'm sure you've owned this for like a million years. No, actually not. This will be, next month will be five years I've had this. Um, I got it right after our first child, Gunner, was born. I wanted something to haul the family around in. Oh, and okay. Uh, uh, so that's why these make sense. Yeah, well, now it's penny seat in there, so. But I'll give you a little something about this. So, this is a 100 series wagon. The deal with one, that's an old sticker I made. <laughs> kind of sums up the whole thing, right? Uh, so this is a 100 series wagon. What that really means is trim level. 100 series is the base model for Chevy 2s, for 62 to 67. So what this is, is that this came with no chrome trim, no side trim, uh, no back seat armrests, Oh, damn. Optional front seat seat belts, because seat belts weren't, weren't mandatory back in that Sick. day. Sick. I put those in though, finally. And then it didn't come with carpet, it came with rubber mats. And it was like the amenities of this car are it has a single speed windshield wiper. Nice. The heater does work. And that's it, actually. So, John, you're a big music aficionado. Yeah. And you have so much knowledge in music. Yet, the car that you day lead for so long. Doesn't have a radio. Yeah, here's how is that? I don't actually put radios in the old schools at all. Okay. There's Did you? Were you a headphone guy? No. A lot of thinking. Uh, no, because I'm used to hearing old cars break, so I can hear them. I've bent push rods. I've broken camshafts. So I, instead, I can hear the car fail, and I know. Nice. So the old schools, I keep it like that. <laughs> the worry. So I got this car from this dude, um, who's in Hesperia. Yeah. So he would just jam up the hill. Like if you're familiar Sorry. with going to uh, Vegas, you go up that hill. Yeah. So he would jam this all the time. So I found it in Craigslist. I called him. He was in Ontario. I went out to the Coliseum. He was going to trade this for a motorcycle, and he had a six-year-old kid in the car. The kid was already passed out because it was 105 degrees. And he was going to go to Ventura, and then he was going to trade for his bike, and then ride back through the night with his son hanging on the back. So I figured, you know what? I'll save you and your kid's life. Go ahead and buy this for you. Nice. So this car is so got weird gremlins with it. The dude got 50 feet away from the car, and all the lights went out. Oh god. And it was, it was becoming dusk. So I just the switch underneath the dashboard, the running lights crumbled in my hands. Screwed 25 miles home, drove it home, and I finally rewired it because it was should have actually burned the ground because it was so bad. Well, I like the stance on this thing. It's got a nice. Nice lowered stance on it, some rallies. Uh, yeah, it looks okay. Like he had, he had 14 on the rear rallies and 15s in the front and a three inch lowering block on it. That sounds gross. It was really ugh. Shocker, but this is a smart car. Smart this, cars? Yeah, this ain't your daily. This, no, ain't, this, this ain't your daily. This is my, this is my uh, original daily. I'm just talking shit. <laughs> 
we went over it. That John gets a pass for the smart car because right. he daily this for so long. John's an OG. He's had, he has cars older than both of us. Maybe that, that car's older than him. Yeah. yeah. I'm not, and he's got a lot of cars that are about your age. Four twenty sixty nine. Yeah, yeah. Four twenty sixty nine. Don't forget it. Uh, what? How old? How long have you had the Nova? My sixty seven. Yeah. Twenty eight years. So John, what's uh, what's under the hood of this bad boy? What's what makes Old Reliable run? Old Reliable runs on a unknown inline six with a one barrel on it. Another what that means is we're not gonna get a burnout at the end of this. Oh, so if that's what you were waiting for, I mean, you could tune out now. Yeah, top because it's got 80 horsepower on a good day. That's it. This car weighs 2976 curb weight, and uh, it came with the L6. 236, 230 cubic What is this? Lock off plate. For what? Uh, there was a whole original wiring harness came through here and it had a, had a bulkhead right here. And on the, on the first and second gen Novas, they'll get hot and they'll melt and they'll just, people start jumping wires over them. So I want to rewire this with the Ron Francis kit. I just had this hole here. So I just made that little plate riveted on because it was getting hot. Yeah. Right into it. So stock 235, I see you did a uh, HEI distributor. It actually came like this. It had the HEI in it. This is a late model truck motor. I'm guessing from the mid 80s though. So I never looked to see what the displacement is. Yeah, who cares, right? It's it just a, runs. It's got a really a poorly uh, matched intake, which doesn't work properly. And it's got a header on it with glass packs on it. It's got a header. Yeah. These are weird because they're like, it's just a crazy setup. It's, it's just crazy. in between the. But yeah, I mean, you can look how small this thing is. Dang. So basically what this car is, I just let it go. Just make sure there's oil and gas in it, check the transmission fluid, and that's it. Everyone needs one car in their stable that's like that. I should really cut this. I should cut this one, dude. I know, like, that's annoying, right? Yeah. That's oh, a little, look at the little baby. That's it. It's leaking a little bit. It's, you know, seeping a little fuel and stuff all over, but yeah. she's good. It's crazy, though. And then it's a turbo 350. Yeah, turbo 350 on it, no gear vendor on this one. But it still gets like 20 miles to the gallon, right? Uh, if you hypermile it, it'll get 20 miles to the gallon. Are you allowed to say hypermile on something like this? Uh, hypermiling in this, to get 20 miles a gallon, is 52 miles an hour. Oh god. As soon as you go anything higher than that, it goes like, today I was driving 68, so it's probably getting closer to 13 miles a gallon. You got drums on the front, drums on the rear. Four wheel drums. And Same most importantly, it. Damn, I know what our action piece at the end is gonna be. Oh, if I dip it hard enough, just turning. We're gonna feel some curbs. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. This car is super junkyard out. Yeah. Like, here's the best thing about the paint. It's originally white and turquoise, but somewhere along time, someone read that Hot Rod Magazine article from like maybe 10, 15 years ago about you could roll a car with Rust-Oleum paint. Sick. The problem is that they didn't get the correct nap so they actually had like three eighths of the staff. So they rolled it and it actually was like rhino lining on the exterior. Nice. And it's finally starting to fall off and chip away finally. I, I dig it looking all like ratty and like old primer and stuff. It fits the car. I know you want to paint this and if you do paint it, please paint it cream. But I, I like it like this. Butternut, but I don't know. Yeah, butternut cream, whatever. Like that yellow, I feel like this is a sick, sick look for this car. Original Cali plates, which is tight. Yeah, like here's the thing about these cars. They don't repop parts for these, for the wagons at all. Ah, so, the wagon's so cool though. I dig this, this is my, it's one of the best parts. So this, before I, okay, here's how I got this. I got the car, it didn't have any of this stuff on here. Like this was missing. So I had like a really long screwdriver and I keep it in the front seat, not to stab people, but to turn it over. So lucky for me, we're next to a pickup car like maybe 10 minutes away. My dad just having a cruise there. They had someone who dropped off a 63 wagon there. Fully like rolled it in. So my dad got this crank for 99 cents. Wow. I had been looking for one on eBay. They were going for $300 in the same condition. Holy shit. Yeah, like, it's pretty crazy. Like on the 300 series, I think, and even the 300 series, you get the rear third seat. That's sick, yeah. On the 400 series, they have electric, I believe. 
So this one, you got Kind of like the crank though, that thing's sick. Oh, it's, yeah, it's something. So this was the original color of the car? Yeah, interior, yeah. Got this too, just in case. You want to party. Nice. For, for real tailgating. Yeah. But oh, what's up? Is this one of your original designs? No, at Hoonigan? Uh, not one of the originals, but it was like in the beginning. It's funny how this keeps living on. But typical wagon stuff. Hell yeah. Well, it's got a lot of storage space too. This is a sick hauler, man. Well, yeah. It's a good, it's like a good like utility vehicle that's not boring. No. And like, you could drive some lame-o SUV or you could get, be a badass and drive a long roof. Well, for us, my wife and I, we take this out for every year at Christmas and we go get the Christmas tree. We take the kids, we go watch drive-in movies with it. We go to like the hardware store and every day when the kids are in school, that's why I take them to school. Like, yeah. All the other parents probably think I'm a complete scumbag, but. Half right. <laughs> Yeah. This well, was really, really rough when I got it. Yeah. I think it's not rough now. No, but it's cool now. It's a good, reliable driver. Yeah, I mean, last time I actually drove it out for work, it was 300 miles. Go get tires, go to Willow. Oh my God, I remember back. that. It's a long day. Yikes. So yeah. Hey, Hurt, this thing can't do a burnout. What should we do? Not even the water? Dude, it's got 80 horsepower, weighs 3,000 pounds. I think it barely get out of its way. What should we just go Herb, feel some curbs? What if Herb picks up the back? How strong is it? I think you guys should just pile in and like go for a ride. <laughs> this crumbles. <Yeah. laughs> We're not here to entertain these jabronis. John doesn't do a burnout because his car only has 80 horsepower. Deal with it. Just enjoy the fruits of his labor. That's a wrap. All right, put all that stuff away. Man, let's go find Kikawa. Give him his helmet. Pretty excited about it. Knocked it out pretty quickly, not bad. I want to see it in the sun though, so you can see the green sparkle. Let's go to find Kakao and see what he thinks about his new helmet. 2.0. You can just fast forward through all this. Ooh, look at this. Let's go look at it in the sun though. I want to see it in the sun with the oh, sparkle. That's right. you have the, little the green sparkles in there. Yeah, this is not necessary. Yeah, it's uh, totally necessary. <laughs> so look at it in the sun. Oh, Ooh, yeah. you like that? Yeah. Safety first. Yeah, too bad this isn't on a Trans Am. But yeah, but it could be one day. That's okay. Yeah, put it on. Let's we'll see what it looks like. Are you, John? Yes. Yeah, look at that. I think it looks good. You like? Yeah. Nice. It looks good in the sun. Yeah, well, how often do we shoot in the sun? Well, now we have a reason to shoot in the sun, just so you can be flossing on people. What is it? It's green fleck? It's green sparkle. Wait, it looks like you were gonna do some little... I was going to, but here's the plan now. Uh, As things progress in your cacaoism, I'll add it to your helmet. Can I get a high five at least? Thank you. You're welcome. Cool. Thank you. Oh. Thank you, John Chase. You're welcome, now you have your own art. helmet. I have art. art. He has art. Yeah. Hear that, everyone? Hear that, everyone? He has art. Cowisms? Yeah, you cowisms. It's fine. <laughs>